Hello there and welcome to the video continued coverage from the FIDE World Cup I missed a bit from, from last round uh, I had a lot of work and well simply didn't have time nor the energy to make videos unfortunately um, so again likes and subs are uh, very much appreciated so maybe perhaps one day we can you know actually make some money but until then Let's have some fun. And let's have a look at this game from, from the fifth round. Uh, Sam Shankland and Peter Swidler. Now I mentioned, uh, I really like Sam Shankland, his approach and uh, his play. And he's been working hard. He won a tournament recently, a strong tournament, which he, he prepared quite heavily for. And here he's playing against Swidler. He drew the first game. And we see uh, the opening here, d4, knight f6, c4, g6. Now, most of the time, one would uh, expect white to go knight c3. And we would have the Grunfeld. And Peter Schittler is one of the best uh, and well-known Grunfeld experts in the world. Him and perhaps MVL, the main proponents of uh, the very solid Grunfeld defense. But... Shankland plays a very modern move here. Pawn to h4. And this immediately you know, puts pressure on the Fianchero position. And the fact that white can choose a moment to disrupt black by, by playing a5 can a h5 can be very can be very annoying. And here we see that Peter does not opt for the Grunfeld by playing d5. Instead he plays bishop g7. After knight c3, he uh, goes for the king's Indian by playing d6. We can still make it a Grunfeld by d5. But if we do that, then I think already uh, a move like h5 looks annoying, at, at the very least. Something like this. Because you can't take the knight, and then I'll, uh, I'll take a center pawn, probably with, with, with a pawn rather than knight. So Peter opts for d6. Uh, the king's India, so I think that's already a slight uh, victory for white to avoid the Grunfeld. So we have a king's Indian and Shankland plays f3. So we have kind of transposed to the so-called uh, sameish variation. In that variation, white usually plays these three moves: the knight move, and then on the fifth move, pawn to f3. So we have that variation and some extra moves. This is completely normal in the same ish, but this perhaps a little bit premature. So we'll see. Will this, this matter at all? e5, d5, and Sweetler goes knight to uh, d4. Now if you play a move such as knight to e7, you can uh, well, you can immediately get under fire with, uh, with h5. And something like this, uh, white sacks a pawn, he's very quick to, to play the bishop out either here or here and the queen can come out behind it even swing over to the h file and this looks like a very very strong attack for white. So Sweetler didn't fancy that. Uh, we should mention that uh, actually after uh, e5 yeah, d5 was actually a novelty here. There was one game, uh, Samvert uh, Ter Sakayan. He played bishop e3 here and Gatti Bushinov won with black. But d5 makes a lot more sense. So black has to play knight d4 to uh, kind of try to open things up, you know, get his own play, bishop e3. And now he has to play c5. That's what Schiller played. If you take on e2, uh, you spend too much time on this knight. And why should you even take with a knight here? And his moves are kind of automatic. Maybe g4 if he has to, maybe this. Castles. Big attack. So, c5 is preferred here. After bishop b3, white takes. And we can take with a knight, it's a different kind of game, but this is kind of more topical. Take, take with a pawn. Sacrificing the pawn on d4, which uh, Shankland accepts. He takes on d4. And. Now black has to find 
Counterplay, he, he sacrificed the pawn, so he has an open line, so rook b8 makes sense. Get the rook on a half open file. Queen c2 by Shankland. Keeps the queen on light square. Avoiding any tacti tactics on dark squares. c5. The idea is to get the bishop off a diagonal. Have a strong bishop here. And now bishop f2. Now at first glance, bishop e3 looks more natural, but then after knight h5, you might have to worry about this entry. And black has contemplate definitely. So Shankland prefers bishop f2 to cover the g3 square. Schwitler goes on with, with active moves. Uh, bishop to e6, plays knight d7, chucks another pawn, but now he's got all his pieces active. Uh, got a rook on a half on the file. The queen is threatening stuff. Bishop as well. This one is good. Uh, this one can jump to, to e5, threaten on c4. So white is under some uh, fire here. And in fact, I think black is threatening to take here on c3. We take with the queen, we take on a2. Uh, we take with the pawn, queen a3, and, and the rook enters on b2. So bishop b1 to uh, keep everything under control here on c3. Knight e5 now. And Shankland opts to simplify here and give one pawn back. He plays f4. You have a trade on c4. And then e5. So white remains up a pawn and he's managed to block in this bishop. But still black has a uh, good counterplay, he has the bishop pair and there are some open lines on, on the queen side and if white is not careful he might you know, feel the heat with the king here. For now rook ft8 looks like a strong move. And now white finally pushes Harry, Harry the eighth pawn, trying to open things up and you know, make use of this rook. Bishop takes a2, getting the pawn back. Now we have takes, takes, and knight to e4. So the pawns are now equal. White is trying to make something happen on the king side now. He's trying to, you know, get the initiative. For now he's attacking the queen, but I guess he wants the bishop over here, trying to make something happen on f6. And here, Swiddler plays an unfortunate move. He plays queen b6. Could have played queen b5 or queen a6. What's the difference? That's a good question, and we'll find out. Queen b6 is especially unfortunate, as we'll see. So bishop h4, tax the rook. Rook d4, active move, because now we're threatening rook c4. And this will be all fine and dandy if the queen wasn't on b6. Knight f6. Now the king has to move to f8. Uh, we can't take this, of course, because of uh, the mate here. And king h8, we would get uh, a hook mate. I guess we'll take this. Maybe you could take with the bishop as well. We could take with the bishop and then bishop uh, f8 as well, but this is also very much forced. And the king tries to run, but in the end it gets a uh, hook mate over here. So the king has to go to f8. But now bishop f2, and now we see why queen b6 was unfortunate. The queen was here or here on b5, uh, things would be different. Simply because the knight has this move. So we can't play rook c4 lining up against the queen because knight d7 is strong. So that's especially unfortunate. Uh, but with the queen on, on b5 or a6, white would not be able to play bishop to f2. So bishop takes f6 was played, trying to eliminate the knight, but uh, now we have to do something about this mate threat. Queen takes f6. And Shankland does not take on d4, he takes on c5 with check. So this threatens the rook. And we have very nice geometry to end the game here. Queen to c8 check. Now, first of all, if, if king here, we're going to have a triangle mate. The queen is quite strong here, setting up the triangle. We learned that in one of my pattern recognition videos, the pawns here take away the flat squares. Uh, queen here, rook h8, wins the queen. King e7, very important, bishop h4, wins the queen. 
And finally, Rook here, we have a very strong Rook H8 again. And we're going to win this. Yeah, King somewhere we take on d8, and Queen takes, takes, and Bishop d4. So nice, kind of nice uh, dark square uh, geometry in many of these lines. So in fact, after uh, Queen to c8 check, Sweetler resigned, and Shankland uh, advances. He will get a very tough matchup in the next round. He will play either uh, MBL or Karakin, but Sergei and uh, Maxime will need to do get out uh, in the tiebreak. So we'll see what happens there. I think this was a, a nice game by Shankland. You know, early H4 push, modern play. And I really like the uh, geometry. And I also like you know, the same issue. I've been trying to play it a little bit. So some ideas there to use for uh, well people that like to play the same issue against the Kings Indian. In any case, hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.